hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about what are the classifications of intent objects so there are two classifications for intent object first one is explicit intent and implicit intent so the explicit by using the explicit intent you can start and component within the same application but by using the implicit intent you can start a component which is available in another application so here I am going to create an Android application that will demonstrate the two classifications of intent objects so start a new Android Studio project I name the project as app A click next create a blank activity here is the activity name and layout name and click finish okay now here we have the project is now available on Android Studio now here I am going to make some design on the activity main.xml file okay here now I add a text view and a button into the activity main.xml file and this text view represent the application name that is application A now here for this button we have to add an on click method so here I am going to add an on click method for this button so Android on click I name the method as button click 1 now we have to define this method in main activity .java file go to the main activity there is no need of an options menu so remove the unwanted methods now create the method public void button click 1 yeah this is not a valid method name we have to change that one I change it to button click 1 ok now it's fine and add the view argument let me just view ok so now here I am going to demonstrate what is the first classification of intent object that is explicit intent so by using the explicit intent you can start a component within the same application so now here I am going to add another activity into this application so right click the application and create a new activity it's a blank activity I name the activity as activity 1 change the layout name into activity 1 layout and click finish now here we have the second first activity now here I am going to make some design on this layout okay here now I finished the design of the newly created activity that contain two text view the first text view represent the application name and that second text view contain a greeting message okay so when you create a new activity in Android Studio the Android Studio will add some changes on the manifest file we have to check it out so open up the manifest folder and open up the Android manifest.xml file so when you add a new activity the Android Studio will automatically add an activity tag inside the manifest file that contain the class name of the newly created activity and a label so the Android name attribute represent the class name of the component ok so now here I am going to create an explicit intent to start this newly created activity so go to the main activity so first here I am going to create an intent object so create an object of indent I name the object as intent equal to new indent so now here I need an explicit intent because here I am I need to create I need to start a component with the, which is available on the same application okay so if you use an explicit intent you need to know the exact name class name of the component here the component is an activity and I know the exact class name here the class name is activity 1 that is the class name corresponding to the newly created activity so you have to pass the 
component name as an argument to the intent object, intent constructor. First, you need to pass a context object. Second, you have to pass the component class name. Here, the component is activity1 and the bytecode class. Okay. So now this is an explicit intent because by using this intent you can invoke a component within the same application. Now here I am going to pass this intent objects into the start activity method and pass the intent object. This will invoke the activity available on this same application. So now I am going to run this application. Okay, now we have the application available on the virtual device. So when I click this button, this will start the newly created activity. So this is an example of explicit intent. So by using the explicit intent object, you can start a component available on the same application. Now I am going to show you how to use the implicit intent. So by using the implicit intent, you can start a component which is available in another application. So for that, here I am going to create another activity. So right click the application and create a new activity. It's a blank activity. I name the activity as activity2. And change the layout name into activity2 layout. and click finish ok now we have another activity called activity2 now here I am going to make make some design on this layout ok now I finish the design for the activity2 I change the welcome message into welcome to activity2 now this application contains two activity activity1 and activity2 and the main activity ok so now here I am going to add a button into the main activity layout. So go to the activity main.xml file. Copy this button. Paste it here. Okay. Uh, now we have to change the text on the button. Start activity 2. Also change the on click method into button click 2. Now we have to define that method on the main activity.java file. So go to the main activity.java. Copy this method. Change that one into button click 2. Okay, so here instead of activity 1, I'm going to use activity 2. Okay, so this is also an example of explicit intent. Now I am going to make some changes on activity 2. I'm going to make activity 2 available for other applications. That means other applications can start activity 2 available on application A. For that, you have to add something on the Android manifest.xml file. So go to the Android manifest.xml file. So whenever you create a new activity in Android Studio, Android Studio will automatically add an activity tag corresponding to each activity. So here we add two activity, activity 1 and activity 2. So now I need to make activity 2 available for other applications. For that, we have to add an intent filter into the activity tag, within the activity tag. So here I am going to add an intent filter tag. First, you have to specify an action for the intent filter. You have to specify a name. So here I am going to specify name. First, I use the package name is the way to in dot com and the application name app A and also provide activity 2. 
so this is the intent filter name so if you use an implicit intent there is no need to know know the exact class name instead of you have to know the intent filter name so if any other application need to start this activity to available on application a it needs the intent filter name so i copy this intent filter name copy this one and save it in a notepad open a notepad so any other application can start this activity by using this intent filter okay and one more thing you have to define some category also specify a name attribute for the category so for making this activity available for other application you have to make the category into a default to one so use this one android intent dot category dot default this will make sure that this activity is accessible for other application okay so now this activity another application can access the second activity that means activity 2 available on application a so i just run the application now i just run it okay now we have two activities on application a that is activity 1 and activity 2 so here i start the second activity here activity 2 okay so this application contains two activities and the second activity activity 2 is available for other application because we define an intent filter for the activity 2 now here I am going to close this application and create another Android project so I close this project and start another Android studio project I name the application as app B create a blank activity click finish okay now here we have application B available on Android studio now here I am going to make some design on the activity main.xml file okay now here I finish the design of this application here we have a title application B and a button start activity in application A so by using this button here I am going to start an activity which is available on application A so go to the XML version we have to add an onclick method for this button so first here I am going to add an onclick method and do it onclick I name it as button click copy this method name go to the main activity and define that method public void button click add the view argument ok so here we have to start an activity available in another application so you have to use an implicit intent so by using an explicit intent we can start a component available on the same application but if you want to start a service or activity available in another application you have to know the intent filter name that means you have to use an implicit intent so here we have the intent filter name for activity 2 in application A this is the intent filter name we created on the manifest file for activity 2 so I copy this intent filter name now here I create a new intent object so indent I name it as intent equal to new indent here we need an implicit indent first we have to pass a context object so pass a context object now you have to specify the intent filter name sorry there is no need of these two arguments there is only one argument is needed for this constructor that is only the intent filter name this is an example of implicit intent because by using this intent filter name we are going to start a component in another activity so when we create an implicit intent the android system will check all the intent filter name if there is a match is found the android system will call the onCreate method on that component in this case 
the component is an activity so the Android system will invoke the onCreate method available on activity 2 in application A. So now we can start the activity using start activity method. So I call the start activity and pass the intent object. Okay. Now here I am going to install application B on the same virtual device. So I run the application. Okay, now we have application A and application B installed on this virtual device. So in application A we have two activities. Activity 1 and activity 2. So here in application A I make activity 2 available for other application through an intent filter. So I clear all the application from the memory of this device. Now here I am going to start application B. Now by using this button I am going to start the application the activity 2 available in application A. So I start the activity. So this will invoke an activity available in application A. This is the use of implicit intent in Android project. I hope you understand what is the use of explicit and implicit intent also what is the use of intent filter in android manifest.xml file thank you for watching see you in the next episode